each time I talk about the virtues of entrepreneurship and I mention that entrepreneurship has the potential to give us time freedom, it has the potential for us to give us an asset base and it can create intergenerational wealth for our children and grandchildren. A lot of people will jump in and start saying things like, well, entrepreneurship's not for everybody, Ron. Not everybody can be an entrepreneur. What would happen to all the employees if everybody became an entrepreneur? So these are the types of objections you start to get immediately. Now, here is my question to all of those people who come up with these objections. Did you ask yourself the same questions when you decided to go down the path of doing a degree and going for traditional employment? Did you ask yourself that if 90% of people become employees and 90% of people are doing the similar degrees, is that going to have opportunities in the future? You see, a lot of you are so concerned about the fact that, you know, what if everybody becomes an entrepreneur, even though right now in the world, less than 10% of people become entrepreneurs. There is such a severe imbalance in favor of the fact that more and more people do degrees and become employees as opposed to become employers. And even then, it, it's, it's amazing that majority of people, their attention goes on the fact that, oh my God, what if everybody becomes an entrepreneur? Well, have you ever thought about the fact that we have a long way to go before that actually happens? Right now, there is such a massive imbalance where there is an oversupply of employees and there is an undersupply of entrepreneurs. And rather than being concerned about the area which has an undersupply, why aren't you concerned about the area that has the oversupply? The oversupply is not in entrepreneurship. The oversupply is right now uh, in the area of a lot of people graduating, doing degrees and having an employee mindset. That's the problem we need to correct first. So don't be too concerned about the fact that, you know, well, what if a lot of people become entrepreneurs? That problem doesn't even exist right now and it's not going to exist for at least a few hundred years. Why don't you focus on the problem that's on hand right now? And the problem that's on hand right now is that there is an oversupply of graduates and oversupply of people who want to become employees and oversupply of people who have an employee mindset that are not innovating, not improving, not disrupting, not creating. And right now the economy and the world needs more entrepreneurs and problem solvers than more employees and graduates.